Hey everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Culture. My name is Ashley and I'm so glad to have you here. Today, I'm gonna to give you examples of me praying these three different types of prayers. Now let's talk about what we do before we actually pray. Step one, thank him. Thank him for being a good father, for getting you through the day and anything else you can think of. Step two, worship him. Either put on your favorite worship song or sing something from your heart. I want us to um, kind of get an audible example and even a visual example of what these three types of prayers look like. So after you, you know, come to God and give given thanks to him and you worship him, let's give an example of the prayer of supplication. So I'm going to use authority figures. I'm going to pray for our government leaders, right? So here we go. God, I thank you for President Donald Trump, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that you are moving through him and that you, Lord God, have given us the opportunity to pray for him. God, he has a lot of laws and things that need to be made, decisions that need to be made. And we pray and lift him up, Father God, for your word says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord and you guide it like a water course. So God, we pray that you will guide his heart towards justice, guide his heart towards integrity. We pray, Father God, that you will grant him wisdom and give him godly counselors in his chambers so that he can do what is according to the will of the Lord so that he can do what is right according to the people that he governs as it is in accordance with the will of the Lord in Jesus name we thank you for the wisdom we thank you for the help amen that's supplication it doesn't have to be all long and drawn out not if you want it to I mean if if, if if the spirit isn't leading you to do that then don't do it but if the spirit is say pray a little more about that then you go ahead you go forward and pray more now let's do the prayer petition let's say that you have run into a financial situation and that you need finances for some bill that's come up and you need God to come through for you. So let's do that. After we've, you know, given thanks and we worship God, let's let's give an example of what petition looks like. God, you are my father. You are my comforter. You are my helper. You are El Shaddai. You are Jehovah Jireh, the God who sees and provides. So Father, I lift up this need unto you. I got this bill in the mail, Father God, and I have no idea right now as of where the money is going to come from. But God, I know that you have storehouses of riches in your heavenly facility and that you are my father. And if you are my father, you will gladly give it unto me. Father God, I pray and I thank you, Lord God, that your word says that we we can come unto you for anything and that you will hear us. And so I take hold of that. I believe in that. And I declare that that bill's need is met in the name of Jesus and that I will not have to worry or think about it because I give it over to you in Jesus name. Amen. Now let's do the prayer of agreement. Now, didn't I say the prayer of agreement needs to have several people there? So true. But I'm going to insert a clip of me praying the prayer of agreement so you guys can see what that looks like, okay? We pray, Lord God, that you will cover him with your hand of healing. We pray, God, that even in his body, from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet, that he is given the strength from you, Father God, not only in his immune system, but also the strength of his body, the supernatural strength that he needs to fully function. We pray, Father God, that he will be able to come out of this not needing any assistance breathing, not needing any type of assistance to keep his body functions going, but that he will be totally self-sufficient in you father great so now that we have three different examples i want you guys to go ahead and do these different types of prayers this week now i'm not saying you got to say okay god today i'm going to do the prayer of supplication but i want you to try and start implementing these things on a consistent basis so that you can make sure your relationship and your partnering with the holy spirit is consistent if you're on your lunch break you can take five minutes to pray for somebody else if you are doing something you have downtime you can take 10 minutes to pray concerning what you are um, concerned about right